All right, what's up, guys, and welcome to the playoffs. Round one, we have the two seed. We're taking on the seventh seed, Baltimore Ravens, Yardstick, another pro player here. We have quite a few things to deal with. Let's go ahead and jump into those, get in the game afterwards, and, of course, move on to the divisional round of the playoffs. So first things first, let's take a quick peek here at the playoff bracket. Now, again, we got the two seed, which is huge. We're going to have home field advantage for pretty much every game. Of course, unless we match up with the Patriots. The Browns are taking on the Titans. The Raiders actually defeated the Jets. The score didn't register because the Jets quit out early. Over on the NFC side of things, the Giants take down the Panthers. The Bucks and the Lions are currently playing right now. I believe the Bucks are actually winning by seven. So we'll see how that game ends up finishing. But a lot of great matchups here, man. A lot of really good players who made the playoffs, obviously. I'm just excited to see how this unfolds. And again, I really like the spot we're in the first time we've won our division and what seems like forever. We finally get a good seed as well. That home field advantage is going to be big for the input delay. Let's go ahead, do some upgrades, check out the Ravens roster. All right, well, this is gonna be easy. We only have a one upgrade this week. It's Stilespi, our safety who plays linebacker. He's been pretty solid for us all season. I don't even know which one I just pressed. I accidentally clicked X. We get the zone upgrade right there, plus two zone coverage, I believe it said. Not a ton of upgrades, but again, this was a big milestone in our season, man. We hit that necessary 80 overall strong arm archetype for Zach Wilson going into this week. You know, we got it by the skin of our teeth and boy, did we need that one badly. He actually now unlocks the pass lead elite ability. I've complained about it literally in every game all season long. I'm sure you guys are just massively annoyed by it or wildly entertained by it me just raging non-stop every game we finally get it though so now i have no excuse if i play bad and lose it's literally just my fault so there's good there's good news and bad news good news is though again we'll actually be able to throw the football jonathan taylor i'm hoping gets a season dev to superstar but again the team is looking really good jamar chase just got a second ability mike williams has his second ability slot as well he just got that deep out elite he's gonna be able to go up there make some really tough catches Jamar Chase's second ability. Now, unfortunately, we can't get Slotomatic here. We can't get outside apprentice, slot apprentice, wide receiver apprentice, or anything like that. He's still an upgrade or two away. I think it's 85 overall route runner. Having the extra routes to go along with this passing ability with Zach Wilson will be really big for our offense, man. Defense is obviously not pretty here. We have some playmakers, mainly in, in AJ Terrell and then Diablo, our user, but yeah, still no ability is on this side of the football, but I'm expecting big things from them regardless. Now here is the Ravens roster and leading the way is in my opinion, undoubtedly the best wide receiver in the NFL. I think he should be this year's MVP. You know, I know it's probably gonna go to Brady or most likely Rogers, but listen, I'm biased, all right? I'm biased and I still think Cooper Cup should be the MVP of, of the NFL. I don't think it's close. He's been unstoppable the, the true definition of unguardable i don't know if that's necessarily the case in madden though he's only 88 speed i feel like they they kind of do this dude pretty dirty you know he does meet that threshold though 89 speed or slower to move him to tight end so that's exactly what my opponent did dk metcalf is one of the best young wide receivers in the nfl six foot three 95 speed superstar abilities chase young here one of the best young defensive ends in the league. Brandon Sheriff has abilities. Jerry Judy, another great youngster right here. 92 speed, six foot one. Jimmy G is his quarterback with the age reduction at 24. Like, I know he's pretty slow here, 72 speed, but again, he gets that pass leading ability, which is pretty crucial, obviously. Uh, hopefully he just plays like he did against the Rams in the conference championship. And I should be I should be in pretty good shape to win this game. David Montgomery here, Garrett Bowles, Creed Humphrey, Asante Samuel Jr. So this guy's got a really nice roster. Eric Stokes actually as well is a six foot one, 95 speed corner. One of the best in Madden, hands down, with the range, with the speed. This guy's got a really solid all around team. We're definitely gonna have our hands full because not only does he have a good team, but he's a competitive pro player as well. Let's go ahead, jump into the game. I am not losing in the first round of the playoffs, I promise. All right, let's see what my opponent is running here. Nice little uh, run to start the game. Looks like a... Uh... Looks like maybe man coverage. He had DJ Reader in coverage downfield right there. It looked like, okay, it was a cover three cloud. It looked like some like man, maybe he ran cover three, man some people up. Yeah, DJ Reader, his 
64 speed D tackle that might be generous as well on uh, Jonathan Taylor down the field now fortunately for him there was a safety in the area as well just got to be careful we don't turn the ball over to start it's like a blitz Oh, Jonathan Taylor in the flat. We need a better route running right there. We had the matchup. Fourth and six to start the game is not a great spot to be in. I'm going to cook up a die here, though. Looks like dollar DB fire and nothing we haven't seen before. I know exactly what I want to do against this as well. Little double wheel action one from the tight end we motion over the running back put him on a wheel as well when he's blitzing all these people right there all those dbs he's leaving vulnerabilities in the zone covers that was just a fancy way of saying um i got dots great conversion though we definitely needed that one wow really good coverage right there from my opponent nothing really open cover four quarters match something i wasn't expecting second and 25 we're gonna need a dot here and make it a third and manageable. I really wanna see if Jamar Chase can cook right here one-on-one -on -one with the press coverage. I feel like he should be able to, I just don't know if he's fast enough. <sighs> Gotta be careful we don't fumble there. I don't know what the chances of us fumbling on a tackle, shoelace tackle from behind. I feel like there is definitely a chance if I'm not in conservative ball carrier, which I'm not. Third and seven though, we got to pick this up once again. I'm a little slow making my reach right now. My first Madden game of the day. Not really an excuse though. Ah, his zone did a really nice job of playing both. We'll take the check down though. Fourth and four. We were out wide open. No fan, come on man. We needed that two fourth down conversions on our opening drive. We, we got to just get in a rhythm. Again, this is my first game of the day. It's not really an excuse. Like, I obviously could have just played a warm-up game. But a little rusty to start. A little rusty to start. Ooh, we had a touchdown. Noah Fan Chase Young is having himself a first drive. Two sacks already. In the contain, though, man, we need, we need time. I'm stepping up. I'm not even leaving the pocket. We got to hold that. Looking for Mike deep here on the crosser. We have him. Spin move. We're into the end zone. Mike Williams. What a beautiful route throw and catch right there. We love to see it from Zach Wilson, man. I feel like this love-hate relationship we have with him is going to be a lot more love than hate now that we have this ability. That was way too much work, though. We tried way too hard on our first drive. We got to make offense easier. But again, defense is our strong suit. Let's come out here, set the tone early, get a stop or hold a three. All right, so we played this guy very early on in the season. We came out with a close victory. I remember him running a lot of bunch tight end. I don't remember him running trips, so maybe he changed up his scheme since then. I know this guy likes to run the ball. It's actually not going to be what he does to start, but I like the coverage there. I think he, he was throwing the crosser, which we had the perfect adjustment for it. I think it was going to be an interception. Kind of wish he got that ball off, but we can live with the incompletion. Yes, sir. Pressure once again, man. Come on. Third and ten. Let's get him to a fourth down early. What? How is that not a pick? Hello? He just threw it right to us. Our zone, our hook curl, baited him perfectly and just was clueless. Oh, man. Great defense to start. Honestly, just unlucky. Just unlucky. That's just Madden 22, uh, Madden 22 defense, man. Make this tackle right here. There you go. Perfect. Defense. Come on, baby. We're not getting any type of pass rush right now, though, which is fine if we're playing, uh, if we're playing covers like this, honestly. I wasn't expecting the run. Let's make the tackle. There we go. Really wasn't expecting to run in the second and ten. I've seen a lot of people run this formation. I'm pretty sure this guy might actually be passing here. Oh, 
I'm gonna run commit again. I remember playing this guy the last time and he just ran every single play down here in the red zone. We actually run commit and he gets maybe half a yard there, but we can live with that. Third and goal from the four. We gotta make this guy pass down here. I remember this guy specifically not having any pass plays from playing him in other leagues. He, he's not comfortable in the red zone. We have to take away the run and make him pass down here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a run here, honestly. I really wouldn't. I think it would be incredibly stupid, but I would not be surprised to see it. Might be passing. A lot of hot routes here. Oh, I tried to click on on Yamada. It should have been a pick right there off the deflection. Fourth and goal from the four. Is my opponent going to press early, chase points, and go for it? I hope he does. I really hope he does. That was perfect coverage right there. That's exactly what he's going to do here. Remember, last time he did this, he went double wheel routes. Oh, he was throwing a pick. He was throwing a pick. We'll take the turnover on downs, though. The problem is we're stuck at our own four, which is why I wanted to catch the pick. That's why I'm disappointed. I feel like we might have been able to get out of there. He had no other receivers in the middle of the field. But I feel like he's enticing me to run right here. I mean, this is inside zone all day. This is inside zone all day. We have Jonathan Taylor. I believe he's a top two running back in the league this year. Like, I think he has over 1,000 yards. Second place in yardage for running back, which is like... A big surprise for me. I mean, I don't really run the ball a lot. Obviously, we did a bit more of it this season with the problems we have with Zach. But, I mean, still, big accomplishment, I feel like. Now, we're going to drive down the field. We're going to take all the time with us. We're going to get some type of points, whether it's three, hopefully seven. We're going to take the entire clock, though. He's not touching the ball again for the rest of this half. Run again, man. Until he shows me he can shoot this in the backfield. We are running the ball we have some nice stick work right here from jt for a eight yard pickup we can take this to the two minute warning now i'm gonna run again man you gotta shoot this gap all right he did a good job right there i thought we had good stick once again he gets the shed though third and two little high ball action he's got that corner playing pretty low I've kind of, we, we've ran that route concept a few times here, and every time I've looked at it, I was like, can I highball it over him? I feel like I just had to try it right there. Maybe not the best time to, to try it right there on a crucial third down, but um, it works, so we can go back to that later in the game. JT, run this man over. He's soft. He, that, that guy's soft too, JT. They're all soft. Go down. We don't want to score yet. We don't want to score yet. We're playing smart clock management football. If you guys don't like this style of football, which I know a few of you don't, that's fine. This is the best possible way to play Madden 22, man. Defense is incredibly, incredibly challenging. Offense is super easy. You have to manage the clock if you want to beat elite players. That's exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to take some timeouts. And, uh, you know, honestly, even if we don't get in the end zone here, it's fine. It's something I can live with. I just don't want this guy to score before half. Uzama, or Uzama has been, like, absolutely terrible for us in the red zone. I'm going to hand it to JT this time. And uh, he's going to do the work for us now. Again, I could have gone down right there, but I feel like, you know, we did take a timeout or two. I think we took two timeouts, so I feel like mission accomplished there. He still has a decent amount of time. I mean, 52 seconds and one timeout is really all day in Madden 22. I think this is a really good situation to give my opponent a look he hasn't seen before. I'm going to go ahead audible here to... I'm going to audible to, well, not audible, but I'm going to come out and dollar, and he throws an interception, and the ball goes right through my hands for a completion. That would have been absolutely huge for us right there, boys. Unfortunately, it comes right through us. He tries Oja Medea again. Man. I like the switch up on defense. Now, obviously, it didn't really work that well, considering he's at our 26 already in two plays, but, I mean... Right there, again, we almost got a pick. And then on the play before, definitely should have been an interception. It's a risk I'm willing to take, though. Tackles and bounds. Yes, sir. Use his last time out. Perfect. Come on. There we go. We're going cover three right here. We're playing max coverage. Only a two-man rush. We're double Maybelline each side. Cover three. He's actually going to audible to bunch here, which is kind of scary. I'm going to be honest. I'm expecting double wheels here, verticals, maybe something of, of that nature. We have to watch Cooper Cup here on the wheel. We have to watch the running back as well. White, white, white. Check, 
It is verticals. It is verticals and AJ Terrell with the interception. Can we make something happen here? Oh, bad stick work from me. We're up to the 29 with three timeouts though. We can definitely get three and make this a three possession game. It's gonna be difficult though. We have to we have to make this play count right here. No over top. I hit him with the playmaker. Good defense from my opponent. He forced just enough pressure in just enough time. That was close, man. That was really close. All right, well, that's going to do it for the first half. I mean, obviously getting three right there. Probably would have killed the game very early on. It's fine, though. You know, he gets ball here, so it's still, by all means, a game. 14-0, though. I mean, you can't really ask for much better of a half right there. Good defense, good offense. Just continue playing uh, how we're playing right now. I'm not going to take my foot off the pedal. Might take a, a little bit more clock with us. But uh, I'm liking the way we played so far, man. I feel like my safety walking down was kind of a giveaway. I'm in man coverage here. I'm going to shade outside so we don't give up a streak. I'm all over the tight end here. We're getting pressure. I think he was throwing a pick again, man. We, we're getting so close. We got to just sack him one time. I mean, how many, how many crazy... <laughs> Crazy balls this guy gonna throw, man, before he finally pays the price. Oh, I feel like we were right there with our user. I think we just hesitated for a second. Nice stop. Can't complain about it now. We're gonna drive down the field, get points. We actually get the block, and I actually I actually landed for the first time all season. Sutton! We cannot be rolling on the floor like that. We got to scoop and score that for a block block extra point for two, I think. I'm pretty sure it's two points. And uh, I'm almost positive it is. That would have been huge, though. Automatic two-possession lead. That's the first time I've ever timed it correctly in Madden 22, which is, which is good, man. It's a good feeling. I can't lie. Now we have to drive down, get points right here, and put this game away. Come on, man. Oh, JT spin moves not very good. He's actually going to a different defense here. He's going to the 4-3-6-1, just trying to blitz everyone and get lucky. I admire the strategy. Hopefully I uh, don't get stopped by it, though. That would be embarrassing. Run him over. Run him over, too, Mike Williams. We got the big physical receivers out here, man. Our team is not soft. We, we battle out here. Cedric Wilson, okay. Not really the guy you expect to get open out of our three receivers, but he does a nice job right there. Mike Williams, I mean, he is, I love him. He's so good. He is so good. The speed doesn't matter, man. I promise you, the height, the physicality, so much more important. Well, I mean, speed's pretty important, but Physicality is right there with it. Nice juke move as well. Try to throw the ball away right there. Definitely could have been a fumble. I feel like we made the right decision. Just couldn't get it off in time. Second and nine here. Wheel route. Jonathan Taylor. He's into the end zone. We take the, uh, I mean, I can't even do the math. Eight, 14 point lead. 14 point lead. I'm gonna go for two here. I'm gonna go for two. We're gonna make it a 16 point game. Why not after the uh, blocked extra point? And uh, we're just gonna make plays, man. He's offside, so we get a free play. We actually have the tight end wide open in the corner, so it doesn't even matter. Let's go, man. That's a big two point conversion. Decline it. 212 left. That's the only problem. We didn't really take a lot of time off the clock there, but we do make it a 16 point game. We're playing good defense. We're playing great offense right now. Let's keep it up. Uh oh. Got clicked on. Big tackle. Here we go. Oh man, we made this drive way too easy. Can we get Sinji down here? 
Oh, we let him score way too easy, but that's fine. I forgot we're up 16. If we get a stop on this two-point conversion, we're still up two possessions. So we got to lock in. There we go, man. Perfect defense. We keep it a two-possession game. That is absolutely huge right there. That's why That's why that blocked extra point and going for two on the next scoring, the next scoring drive was so big, man. It's absolutely massive. Otherwise, it would be a one-possession, seven-point game. No turnovers. No turnovers. Make them work. Going on a conservative ball carrier for the rest of this game. JT, big run. JT's been huge for us, man. I love it. A timeout here? A timeout in the third quarter is a very interesting uh decision I, i'm sure it's done out of out of rage or tilt but just not not the right play in my opinion and coverage that's easy for noah fan turn it up field kid turn it up field noah you gotta run faster and uh, okay maybe it doesn't matter he's just gonna run right through him noah fan man i love the physicality i absolutely love it you know, I was hesitant about this draft. I really, really was. I wasn't sure about the picks that we made, but you know, we, we kind of went away from speed. We went with we went with just heart, we went with with heart, with physicality, and uh, I think it's working so far, man. I like it. I like the switch up. It's fun to play Madden like this. Basically, just bullying every other team we play. Defense, come on, man. I feel like Jimmy G's unsackable, dude. What's going on here? Pick AJ Terrell, man. Number two of the game. Playmaker. He's a play he's a natural born playmaker, man. Come on. 17 point lead with ball in the fourth quarter. I'll take some clock. Put this one away. Oh, don't let him come free like that, man. Got no fan. Come on, man. Put him away. Run him over, JT. Run him over, JT. It doesn't matter if he meets us a full yard before the line. It doesn't matter. Run right through him, JT. Let's go, man. JT is a horse, man. Come on. GG's, man. We take home the 17-point victory over a very solid player in the first round of the playoffs. I believe the Browns beat the Titans, which I think means we play the Browns next, the three seed. I think they run trips tight end as well, so he's going to play very similarly to this guy. I'm looking forward to the matchup. Again, I'm not 100% sure. We'll go ahead and jump out of this game, do some upgrades, take a quick look at the playoff bracket one more time. Zach looked good, though. 75%, 248, three touchdowns. That's exactly what we need from him. Get a couple turnovers on defense, make some plays on offense, man. It's, the team is looking good. I'm so much happier now in this league. I really am. I'm glad I stuck it out. It definitely feels a lot more rewarding. Taylor Decker, our left tackle here, getting an upgrade up to an 81 overall. I was hoping for some more upgrades after a big playoff victory at home. Unfortunately, not the case. Not going to complain too much, though. Let's take one more look, see if any of these scores updated while we were playing. Unfortunately, they did not. I'm pretty sure we play the Browns, though. I, I want to say in the Discord that he won. But regardless of who we play, man, I'm confident we can get the win. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. And with that being said, I will see you guys next week in the second round of the playoffs. Peace.